Brilliant Butterfly Karen, how are you? Okay, so I'm just about to start this week's collective energy reading, but, but um, so this week's collective energy readings, I can already feel the, the difference in the energy shift now. It's still very, it's still right there, like there's a lot coming through, but um, I'm finding that I'm slowly being able to just sort of tap in a little bit well not so much easy that wasn't really the problem it was more it was just it was just it's really hard to explain unfortunately <laughs> but I'm kind of glad I'm getting a little bit of rest um and I did need that little extra bit of sort of rest from you know so much coming in and downloads and data and etc so it was just nice for, to sort of have a break from that um I love this cup I just bought it recently I saved my best friend. My best friend saved me. Absolutely. I miss my Zeusy. As soon as I saw this cup, I'm like, oh my god, that reminds me of Zeus. Oh, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, little Foo Foo. Hi. We'll make it a little busier to in a moment. Are you coming up? No? Okay. What are you doing, little? Hi. Hi. So. So anyway, so back to this week's collective energy reading. Um, I did. Yeah, there was a couple of um, video visuals. This, actually, there was three video visuals this week. So I know, again, like I say, things are slowly going back to my sort of normality where I'm seeing a lot more. I don't know if the energy for the last few weeks was so intense that there was just more clairaudience coming in more than usual. But I'll take them, obviously. Um... But I feel like everything's sort of slowly calming down and balancing. Maybe that's why there's a lot more coming through. But uh, so anyway, the first message I came, I got through, it came from his Claire audience, and I did connect with female energy. And then I heard the name Leanne Rose, Leanne Rose, and then I, hmm, and then I heard, um, my cradle is empty. So I think that. I think we can figure out what that means. It's kind of a loss. I, I feel like there was a, a loss there. But that was for... So, like I say, I, I did connect with female energy and I heard the name of Leanne Rose and then I heard my cradle is empty. Kind of sad. So the second message that came through is a video visual and Claire audience and Claire sentience. Okay. Hmm. This one felt... I don't know, actually. It was really, really weird. Um... I don't know it's just this just I, I was seeing this young girl possibly, possibly like late 20s maybe 20s maybe, it's, I don't like assuming people's ages I get it wrong um but she was looked quite young long long dark curly hair um but it was like it was like sort of tied back because she was hiking she was hiking hiking with this guy and then I heard um I heard the female the thing is, I felt like this female energy, who I was seeing was who's on 5D now, like she was deceased. And I feel like this is what her last memory was before she passed over too. But like I said, to connect with her female energy, long dark curly hair, and she was hiking with a man. And then I heard, hmm, he was texting another girl. We argued and he left me to die while texting another. You were a pig. That really yeah that like that so that's how she came through he was texting another girl that's why uh, we argued he left me to die while texting another so it felt like that's exactly what it was it was like they were hiking she the, she's maybe he was te obviously texting an, another another woman and they clearly had an argument and i think maybe he continued texting this other woman while she, I don't know, went another way or maybe left him. I don't know. It just seemed, but he left her because he was more interested in texting this other chick. So that's what I was feeling. And I remember coming out of this one thinking, prick. You know, like that, right? There. That's exactly how I felt. What a prick. Um, so that's kind of, that's how I felt like that was her last memory. That really sucked. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I see, because I see so much and I hear so much and I, and, and I feel it too. But with that one, 
it's just I don't know unfortunately um, he just left her to die while continuing to text him yeah you know, whatever you know it's sad for her really is but him karma regardless okay so the third message that came through was clear audience um, I did connect with the male energy and oh, this is quite nice <laughs> I heard sombreros, paradise is a paradise with you, Christina. So that was from a male energy I connected with on 5D. And then and I heard him say, sombreros, paradise is a paradise with you, Christina. So that was really nice. Shame we can't all meet men like that. Make you feel like that. <laughs> like you're a paradise, not an option. Okay, so the fourth message came through was a video visual, Claire audience and Claire senses. Okay, so, mm, oh God, yeah. The, mm, I felt like I was getting a couple of warnings this week too. Warnings from 5D for loved ones here and for, you know, I really, these come through strong as well. Because at first, with this one, I, I was seeing what looked like a Viking style boat. And I'm like, okay, hello, where am I going? Whoa, what's going on here? But I was so, you know, I saw it just floating down a river. And then I and, and I did feel like because this I was connected to like female energy, energy and I felt like she was giving uh, someone like well jo a Joanne here on 3D like a warning. Um, I heard don't take the cruise, Joanne, just like that. And then so as soon as I heard that, I thought, oh, okay, that explains the Viking boat. But maybe I don't know because what I instantly got from this was. Okay, then maybe there's a Joanne here on 3D that's maybe booking or booked or due to go on um, a Viking cruise on a river. Um, but there is a female energy on 5D that's maybe seen something um, and really came through strong saying, don't take the cruise, Joanne. So maybe, I don't, it's hard to say with this one because maybe if, you, if there's a Joanne on this side that has already... Or due to go, maybe just reschedule it, or, hmm, I don't know, I wish I could get more data, but, um, that's kind of what I got from this female energy, was the symbolism for the Viking cruise line, but that would make sense to me, because when the energy was saying, don't take the cruise, Joanne, and I've seen it, like, floating down a river, itching, so, uh, maybe that is a, 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 a Again, I say this all the time, on 5D they can see everything that's happening here, but they can see what's happening in the future, they can see what's coming. So they will come through like that. And like the next one too, was like, like it was a, it felt like it was a week of sort of a couple of messages, warnings for loved ones. Again, they only come through like that for people they care about and love on this side. So, yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe... I, I, I really don't know what to suggest because I can't tell this Joanne not to take cruise. Um, can't do that. I mean, possibly reschedule. I, I really don't know. But like I say, that that came for a Joanne here on Friday. Don't take the cruise, Joanne. So the fifth message came for was Claire, you know, as a visual visual, Claire audience and Claire sentience. Oh, la, la. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I connect to a male energy. I was seeing like a tall town house on fire. It was like blazing fire. I'm like, oh my God. And I was seeing all these fi firefighters right, trying to put this fire out. And then I sort of like, I was looking up and then at one of the windows, this firefighter was like blown out of the window. And I'm like, what the fuck? <sighs> now, I don't know if this has happened or um, I don't know if I was seeing like a lot of memory, but I, I feel like it hasn't happened yet. Because a warning came through for a pierce. Um, and I heard, pierce, stay to the left side of the window. Like that. And I'm like, oh, mm, okay, that, makes, that would make sense. So that's why I felt like it hadn't happened yet. Um, so if there's a firefighter by the name of Pierce, who lives in a city, a big city, where there's a lot of townhouses, I mean, that could be anywhere, that could be like Boston, that could be New York, I, I really don't know what city. But, um, if you end up going into a large townhouse and you're fighting a fire, 
don't stand in front of the window. There is something that happens inside that building that will blow you. Um, it's just going to fray you out, blow you out, basically. Um, but the message was, Pierce, stay to the left side of the window. So maybe when you're in that building, stay to the left side of that window so you don't, you're not in the firing point, right? So you're not getting blown out. That's what it felt like. It was so weird. And it was, ugh. And I saw it clearly like, what the? Oh my God, he's blown up freaking building through the window. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm not here to create fear or anything like that. And I don't want to scare people. It's just, I can't not deliver the messages. If I'm going to connect to energy, I've got to bring them through. It's as simple as that. But again, there's nothing wrong with having a little warning. There's nothing wrong with that. So if you do know somebody by the name of Pierce who works in a large city or lives in a large city and is a firefighter, pass this message on. If you know someone called Joanne, who's about to take a Viking cruise, possibly in Europe, pass the message on. These are these are for people to, you know, share them with people. These are things that these messages are coming through for loved ones. These are for the collective. And again, as silly as it is, um, a Christina that will understand what sombreros mean, and you know maybe the male energy a, a man she loved or she was with before he passed away was. Uh, Maybe he always she was like paradise to him. Maybe these are the things that they know and they they resonate with. Um, and again, this um, this female energy with curly hair, sad as it was, hiking with this fucking prick. Then you know, and maybe I don't know if that's happened. It felt like it's happened absolutely. So maybe if there's no clarity on what caused her to die, or maybe because the, there's always a story behind what happens to somebody at the end there's always a story there's always a reason um why she was left alone what caused them to argue well that now you know so if you know of a female energy that had dark curly hair that goes hiking went hiking with a guy and she died on the hike and you know he didn't kill her it's just i didn't see any of that but the way he went about things and he's going to get karma for that regardless so like i say if there's now you know the reason if you if you ever feel like you just need clarity on what happened to somebody what could have may have caused the last thing that they remember i know it sounds horrible to remember to have that as a memory but it's it, it's a piece of the puzzle that you need a clarity on well there you go and that's why it comes that's why energy comes through like this so yes that was this week's collective energy reading but again like, like i said energy does come through like this they have met they have things they need to say they need that last word they need to be heard so and that's what people like me do we listen and then we pass the message on so other than that um i'm going to leave that there and i will see you all again next week for you okay so welcome to this week's collective energy reading it's, it's a crazy energy shift right now, which I'm, I'm sure people are feeling. Um, obstacles, etc. <laughs> I actually had a week last week was I was really feeling it last week, but I was feeling the the changes where I was I was sent to more people, like I was crossing paths with people. I was sent to places I wasn't planning to go to. <laughs> you know, actually, more so too. I was supposed to be going one place and doing one thing and then I was sort of diverted and sent somewhere else and then I had to cross paths with somebody. Um, the, I'm assuming the clarity of regards to that will come in soon and then I'll get the reasons why. But at the time it's like, why am I here? Okay, why am I meeting this person? Um, and the, 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 I will find out very soon, which is the way it is. Sometimes I can get that instant reasons because usually when I'm sent to somebody, there's a reason for it, or it's because I'm supposed to help them. It's as simple as that. Um, and I don't question that anymore. I used to back in the day, but I don't question it now. I just went, oh, okay, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> Clearly, I'm here for a reason. I'll, you know. Sometimes it's places. It can, I could be sent to a place because there's something wrong or something going on in that place that needs somebody like me. Um, so there's a reason for everything. I can't always get 
the reasons why. But again, it's usually it's for people or I'm crossing paths with people for a reason. I don't, I, I get sent to people. I cross paths with them for a reason. And usually it's because there's some help or healing or something to help that person. There's a reason behind it. So I had, last week was like that for me. Um, and it's, it's, but I love it. It's, it's, it's my life. It's my calling. It's, and it's not a lifestyle. It's not something, you, this isn't something you choose to do. This is literally my calling. And I've, I've had this all my life. So I've just mastered my human abilities. And we've all got them. I mean, I say this all the time. We've all got these amazing human abilities. You just don't know it. You're not conditioned, educated, to under to know about it. And there's a reason for that. But I'm not getting into that. <laughs> It's a different conversation. But everything interconnects. Um, so because of that energy shifting, I was, it was an amazing, I, I, last week was amazing. I just, I, I, I just sort of embraced the shifts as they come in. I'm like, oh, here we go. Oh, la la. <laughs> Poor people out there. They're not going to know what's going on. <laughs> you know, I have that. Most people. And I, I feel for people, but it's like, and that's why I did a video last week as well. I, I like to give energy updates to let people give people a heads up like hey he might start dealing with this this week or in the next coming 10 days to two weeks maybe you might start noticing crazy changes don't worry it's just energy energy shifting um frequency ch changes are oh, it's the beauty of life unfortunately a little bit <laughs> so and I guess because of that shift, you know, my Claire audience was really, really in tune this week too. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get to the first message. So I did connect with the male energy. Um, he came through, and I heard the name Lawrence. And then I, and then I heard. Actually, it's quite funny when I heard this one. I heard crossing over was a bitch. So. I'm assuming that was from life to death transition during the last life during a life to death transitional process um, I'm assuming this this male energy this I'm assuming it was Lawrence um, he just had a, a hard time crossing over it happens but I like to I like um, to help you know people at the end cross over I like their souls cross over without it being a bitch <laughs> so um, I guess that was just this message to let I don't know if he was just letting me know, crossing over with it was a bitch. And I, and I immediately like, oh, I, I know. Mm -hmm. I feel it, but don't worry, you're over now. <laughs> you're out where you need to be. Um, so the second message also came from his Claire audience. Um, I did, again, I did connect with a, a female energy, and then I heard Betty. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, some of these made me laugh. I can still tickle you. <laughs> okay, so when I heard this one, um, I can, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just something that they used to do, but I feel like there was lovers, you know. And, um, so this female energy that's like on five D, she was letting I, I assume her lover, or maybe her ex girlfriend, etc., who's still here on three D. I can still tickle you but there was a set I got the sense that it was there's a certain area so I'm gonna let Betty on this side <laughs> if that resonates um yeah yeah she, she can still tickle you <laughs> I was like but as soon as I heard it and I felt it I was really like oh oh la la <laughs> there you go um enjoy it Betty that's it <laughs> okay so the third minute so let's have some coffee I'm in a really, really funny mood lately. Okay, so the third message came through is Claire audience and Claire sentiments. Ooh, okay. So I connected with a female energy. And as soon as I made the connection, I felt like I, my heart was pounding in my chest. And like, like I said, I'm an empath, so I'm feeling. And then I just got the feeling, you know, I, I knew like this energy at the end had a nasty heart attack. Um, so that was the cause of this lady's death. And then I heard the name Cynthia, and then I heard Leon couldn't save me because he wasn't meant to save me. 
So it felt like maybe somebody was doing CPR, uh, maybe a Leon here or Freddy was doing CPR on a, on a female energy by the name of Cynthia, who was having a heart attack, and he was unable to save her. So the message that came through was Leon couldn't save me because he wasn't meant to save me. So if there's anybody out there feeling a bit guilty uh, that they couldn't help somebody, and it could be a paramedic, it could be a loved one, it could be anybody, but or it could just be, it could be anybody. But yes, um, that was just Cynthia coming through, just like letting this Leon know it was okay, and it was just her time, um, and she, you know, he couldn't save her because she, she, he wasn't meant to. So release the grief. I mean, release the guilt and release the grief. Um, the fourth message came through was a video visual and clear audience. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, to me, this one is a, a warning for somebody here on 3D. Somebody on 5D, a loved one. And I'm assuming it was a grandmother figure. What I was seeing, because it was like watching a video, there was a little girl running around the um, a grocery store. Running around the aisles. And then I heard... I could, sorry, not here. I saw the, like, the, the little girl's mother looking for her, searching down the aisles. And then I heard the name Ella Brown, Ella Brown, Echo Lima Lima Alpha, Bravo, Romeo, Oscar, Whiskey, November. Ella Brown. I'm sorry, ma'am. Um, then I heard, don't take your eyes off her at the grocery store. The cameras won't help her after she's gone. So, what I was feeling from that was, this little girl was running around the store. She was abdu abducted, gone. And then by the time the mother realized she was looking for her, it was too late. Just like that. It took seconds. Um, and the cameras won't help after the fact. Yeah, okay, they're going to help, like, oh, we'll see what happened, who took her possibly, etc. But they're not going to help bring her back. So I feel like the message that was coming through from a grandmother was, keep your eye on the child, seriously. Because, if you, because it's not going to end well. So, there you go. Um, I don't know who Ella Brown is on 3D, but there is a female energy that came through, grandmother figure. Just to so don't take your eyes off her at the grocery store. The cameras won't help her after she's gone. The chair was on. It's not. It's crap. You know, it's shitty. But you know, okay. Put your kids on leads. Okay. In this day and age, just put your kids on leads. Just keep hold of them. They shouldn't be running around the grocery store. They shouldn't be running around anywhere. If you can if you're not able to watch your kids. You can't see your children, right? Every second of every day, when especially in public, you, you, mm. and seriously, keep your fucking eyes off your phones. When you're in public with your kids, do not get distracted with your phones. There is nobody or nothing important, right? Texting, Facebook, etc. There is nothing more important that your phone needs to distract you from your children. Oh la la. Okay, so the, fi the fifth message came from Claire Audience, and this was a divine one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the changes in the um, cycles. The cycles changing. The cycles changing in relationships, everything. But um, this was a, uh, a DM message. Um, it's for the collective. And then I'll, I just, because this one comes in, and I have to sort of really interpret it because it can, from, you know, I go right to the source, but. Um, I have to just sort of hear, and then I have to just interpret it, and then put it into a good kind of structure. Um, stop state, this is for the collective, but this is for people who go, oh, again, let's go back to those kids, but marriages and relationships. I think I just got some, <laughs> I just got clarity. <laughs> it's like that. Okay, that explains last week okay so I heard stop staying in toxic relationships or marriages for the sake of your children 
you're not helping them, you're teaching them your self-destructive habits and weaknesses. They will mould future partnerships based on your behaviours. Well, that's true. You know, we've all been in toxic relationships, right? You find a way to get out of them. Um, thankfully, I don't have children. Uh, and you know what? I can't say I'm saying it. I mean, we've all been there. What I'm saying is, I've been raised in a toxic... I've been, I was raised in this behaviour. And believe me, I've spent a lifetime breaking those cycles for a reason. Because I know they're not healthy. Um, and what I can say about being a child raised in that sort of destruction and toxic behaviour is you really screw up your children because all they know is what they're raised in. If you're constantly fighting day in, day out, day in, beating each other up, all that kind of crap, right? Seriously, all that toxicity, that is not healthy for your kids. If that's all they see day in and day out, that is all they know. You're educating them to continue your cycles, first of all, and thinking that that's actually okay, that behavior. So then now you're gonna, you've got a new generation of narcissists that are out there um, recreating relationships, but recreating your habits, your weaknesses, your behavior. It's as simple as that. The best thing, and I'm saying this as a child growing up in that, those toxic environments, the best thing you can do for the kids, for your children, is you get out of them. If it's hard to get out of them for different reasons, especially when it comes to abuse, etc., you need to find help. There are always ways of escaping that sort of behaviour. But I know, and I know a lot of people um, stay in those situations because of their children. You are not doing your kids any favours at all. If anything, you're actually destroying their psychology, uh, before, cause especially during the development processes. And secondly, they are going to turn. They're going to basically become either the abuser or the or, or, or the abused. Because if one's, what if your children are seeing the abuser and thinking, oh well, this is my my mother or my father, and 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 I love them, I guess this is okay behaviour to do this. That's all. They, that's what they're going to grow up doing. Or they're going to go the other way and become the abused, the victim. So. And I think maybe because we're seeing a lot more of that lately, and maybe especially after last year, um, 2020, I get I get it now. But now everything's calming down. I think it's that time to just get I can really understand. It's easier said than done. Trust me, I know, I understand. I, I, I've been a product of it. I was raised in it. I've been in it. I understand it. Um, and I'm just thankful I don't have children, or I didn't have children, or I, you know, and I, I hate, I hate the loss of what I lost, because I've lost children, um, but what I'm saying is, I look back and I think, oh, imagine back then trying to get out of those situations, and it would have been so much harder. So, I understand how hard it is, it's just, um, but you don't do your children any favours. And I'm speaking as a survivor as a, as a, and as a child raised in that sort of environment. Um, and then we just, you know, it's hard to parent these days anyway, but if, at the end of the day, when your children grow up and they're going to, then you're going, they're going to mould these sort of relationships. That's all they're going to know. And that's it, that's the truth. It's a sad truth. They're going to become the abuser, or they're going to become the victim, and both are equally bad. So you need to, and it's all because of that self-destructive habits and weaknesses. Um, I'm not saying victims are weak at all. Absolutely not. Um, are the abusers toxic, destructive people? Absolutely. They are, um, and there's more of them. It's just a huge influxation of them. But if that's how they were raised. That was what they were raised into. That's why they're doing it because that's all they know. So one of you has to break the cycle. You have to break the chain. You have to break that cycle. And you have to let your children see one of you is breaking that cycle. So when they do grow up, they'll understand the cycle that they're in and they'll know it's okay to break it. Otherwise, 
their children and their children's children are going to be recreating the same cycle of shit, patterns, abuse that they've been raised in. So, and I, I feel like that message, you know, from the divine came through very strongly actually. Yeah. Well, if it was if it was meant to be discussed today, that, I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing. So that was this week's. So, you know, I don't I don't like creating fear or anything like that. It's just um, just take what you can, take what you can from that. You know, um, and I say this all the time. Be careful who you associate yourself with. You become who you become who you associate yourself with. And you don't have to. I mean, it's not good, especially if you're if you're associating yourself with really shitty human beings, really shitty people. How do you want them? Because then that will be people's perception of you. Even though you may not, not be anything like that, trying to change your, somebody else's perception based on who you actually associate yourself with, it's not a good thing, it, it's very hard. It's a pro, it's hard, <laughs> you know? But as for the healing um, side of it, if you can take anything like that, just use it for the healing processes. Other than that, have a great week. Like I said, the energy shifts are, are well active. Just if you're dealing with obstacles, just if you can't, if you don't have any control of them, just let them go. Deal with them another time, maybe like next week when it's like this energy is sort of cleansed off. Um, other than that, be kind to each other. It's free. And I will speak to you all soon. Okay, so today I am going to be doing today I am going to be doing the energy reading for C E R. So this is what I've sort of been dealing with this week, but it's ironic that because the energy shifted too, and we are sort of you know the you know, astrologically we're going into uh, well we're now in retrograde. I'm just <laughs> trying not to do too much during this period. I say I just don't you know just. You know, maybe if you have to just retreat from people, if it, everybody just, you know, just retreat a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. Just, um, but for like a week, so. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Um, and problem sleeping. I haven't slept properly for two nights. And I do have another reason, because I did actually get a message from Michael. And the only, and I think the only reason it, it, this message came through, I've left it for the seventh message. Um, I thought I'd leave it to last. Um, it will literally explain what I'm talking about, but it doesn't surprise me that people are out there actively um, putting out ill wishes and stuff like that towards another human, you know, other people right now. When you understand light and you understand darkness, um, you'll realize the darkness is losing on a very, very rapid scale. So anybody that's missing there, everybody that messes with darkness or the believing darkness and all that kind of crap right they're getting desperate and it's showing because everybody's just it's almost like um everybody that's bad and remember badness and evil is a choice not a condition and i'll say this to the end of my days it's a choice not a condition they know exactly what they're doing they know right from wrong they know that um, the head and another human being. They know exactly what they're doing. So, the first message came through as Claire audience, and then I connected with the female energy, and then I, and you know, some of them were quite random this week, you know, quite short and sweet as well. I just heard there's no pleasure in pain. Okay, so that's going go wherever you want with that one. Um, I didn't get a name or anything. Just literally female energy, and I heard there's no pleasure in pain. Um, the second message came through his clear audience. I did connect with the, uh, connect with the male energy. Oh God, you know, it's one of those weeks. I'm, I'm serious. But what I'm talking about, I, the male energy I connected to, I heard, she's a black magic woman, but her magic doesn't work. It's one of those weeks, anyway. So the third message came through as Claire audience, and I did connect with the female energy, and then I heard the name Letitia, and then I heard, my baby is a beauty. <laughs> so I don't know if Letitia's passed her, you know, like she's passed energy, or 
um, she's here in 3D or the baby Letitia maybe um, but I just connected with the female energy and then I had the name Letitia and then my baby is a beauty so the fourth message came through was a, a picture like a picture uh, sometimes like if it comes as a video visual or they can come like a photographic picture um, and Claire audience okay so at first I saw I connected with the female energy and then I saw the uh, photographic picture of two twin boys like young toddler age and then uh, and then I heard what could have been a possible warning but I'm gonna put it out there like that. Um, I heard terrible terrible twosome will need to be monitored when they become teenagers then I heard the song Bad, bad to the bone, bad to the bone, ba -ba 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 -ba. you know, I hear that song like, as soon as I hear the message, terrible twosome will need to be monitored when they become teenagers, then I hear like, bad to the bone, that song, and I smile to God, I'm like, okay then, so somebody from 5D has clearly seen um, a future visual of these two twin boys, so... But apparently they're going for that terrible twosome stage right now. Well, didn't get much more clarity on that, unfortunately. Um, okay, so the fifth message came through as clear audience. So I did connect to a male energy, and okay, this is really strange. And, and you know, I'll well, okay. First of all, I connected to a male energy, and then I heard he can run, but he can't hide. Um, okay, so the sixth message came through as clear audience. I did connect to a female energy and then I heard ev <sighs> everything was in place until the whore came along. She stole my family. I don't particularly like to use that word because, first of all, it takes two to tango. But I don't ignore the words being said. If this is energy needs to for this word to be heard, so free, so like that, then I'm going to repeat it. I, I repeat the messages. Not shoot the messenger. I'm going to try and find the energy. <laughs> um, again, let's go back to it takes two to tango. She could not have screwed this man's, this woman's husband, or the father, or whatever or the boyfriend or the fiance without him actively being involved in that it takes two to screw so and it takes two to make those choices and it, take, make, and it takes two to create the consequences of the action not one two anyway that was the sixth message so the seventh message, like I said, it came as, as it came as a picture, um, and actually, it happened. Well, it tried to happen. It didn't. <laughs> there was a slight attack, but not the way they thought. But I saw a picture of eight people, and they were sending out what look what I can only describe as dark negative energy attack, basically on me. You know what? It doesn't even surprise me. What I do, I it's just jealousy. It's just pure, bitter, twisted jealousy. That's all it is. Because um, I work with the light. You bet your ass people don't like that. And I don't care. <laughs> because my job is to help people. And that's it. So yeah, it came, you know, it was sent direct, directly to me. And it was personal. However... <laughs> Um, Michael, he basically, he intervened and he came through and he just, his message was very, very straightforward. Light warriors have an important role to play for humanity. Very true. These people tried to, this, this is his message to me. These people tried to hurt you, but they failed. No one hurts a light, work, a light warrior and gets away with it. Everyone will see who these jealous cowards are very soon. Justice has now been said. You know, I don't care what people think about me or say about me or do or even do to me. But one thing I will say is, if if Michael's intervening, because <laughs> that's one warrior energy, do you know, ascended. There's no way I'm ever going to mess with him. Um, and I get it, and I completely agree with him. 
So whatever these eight people, and, and again, like I say in that picture, I saw these group of eight people. I know exactly who they are, but I'm not going to tell you people who they are. But I know. And um, what's going to come back to them now? Well, what they what all really, what all eight of them did to me, <laughs> one absolute coward. I mean, you've got to be incredibly jealous, bitter, and twisted bunch of cowards that it has to take eight of you to send an energy attack to someone like me. Well, it would take a lot more than that. Still didn't get through. I mean, did it keep me awake one night? Yeah, it was pretty shitty. Um, was I over it? Yeah. But was it intervened? Yeah. And that's the problem that these stupid people don't understand. You cannot be doing stuff like that and don't think for a second that you're powerful enough to think it's going to come through. Um, it was intervened and it was sent right back by Michael himself. And I'll tell you something else. It's going to come back ten times worse. So how how sad for you <laughs> and you know the one thing i will say in the visual that i was seeing when i knew what was happening was the one person that they the reason there is a reason behind why they did it why they sent it to me because they wanted to stop a person coming to me what they just did by doing that is the universe is going to send that person now a lot faster so you reap what you sow and you have no control over that person crossing my path and vice versa it's going to happen so you just kind of screwed yourselves and no it didn't work unfortunately so there you go that's really sad for you do i feel sorry for you absolutely not <laughs> um you're going to get your deliverance you don't have a right I don't have a right to send energy healing at a distance to anyone without their permission and that's for the good, that's to help someone. You set, so no, it's the, the universal laws and natural laws are in place regardless of good or bad. You don't have a right to do that and to send anything of any kind to anyone just because you think you can or you've got that. No, you don't have a right, you, you just don't. <laughs> and you'll have to deal with the consequences. So. Also, while I'm here, I did get a message like, why do you even bother on YouTube? Okay, well, I'm just going to make it clear that I really don't care what people think at all. I don't need to be on YouTube. I choose to be on YouTube. I don't need it. I don't need to. I just choose to. I don't get this whole fascination of trolling and all that kind of crap. I don't get these people that just love vibration. The energy is so low vibe. It's like, what is wrong with people today? They, you know, they can't be happy for anyone. They can't, they can't not troll. They can't not nitpick and bitch and all that kind of, you know, just get a grip. Get some self-esteem. Oh la la. Try liking yourself for five minutes and then all that behavior will just cease. It's only because you don't like yourself or you've got nothing really good going on in your life that you've just got to hurt, bitch twist negative um hate on everybody else you're just jealous <laughs> the most basic idiotic human trait the ugliest is just jealousy and that's what causes all of that behavior just get some self-esteem really and get some self-love and then all that mentality will change. Then you won't need to be jealous of anyone. It's bizarre. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your week. Um, and I will obviously see you all soon, just in a different playlist. <laughs>